Welcome to my bead space. I work in the spare room in my apartment and this is what it looks like. And it's messy, but that's just how creative spaces work. But I'll give you a tour. This is a basic Ikea desk from years ago and a couple basic shelves. I have my doll collection up here and then all my beads. Up here are all my bulk beads uh, that I have a lot of, some ribbons, other stuff like that. And here are all my seed beads, which I have way too many of. I have them in these 100 gram containers, 50, 30, and 10, I believe. And then below I have some leather, a bunch of shipping supplies, other things like that. And then I have envelopes, everything. And then over here I have my beadwork collection. So this is stuff that I have bought, things that I've made, things that I've been gifted by a bunch of different indigenous artists that I have displayed on my wall right here and stored this way. I just want to show them all off. I have my printer and shipping, all that stuff. Oh, over here I actually have some bead kits that I'm working on. They're super cute. These will be coming out soon and I'll have them at my markets. And then I have a bunch of crap <laughs> all over the place. Uh, on top of my desk, I have a bunch of storage. These are all my clay centers. I've got beads here. I've got some art on the wall, some flowers. And then I have a bunch of pieces, my inventory ready for markets. I got this on Etsy. I'll link it down below. I've got pens, uh, more art, beading is medicine, some work by some friends, some photos, chains, tax all that stuff i've got my scale pens scissors etc thread down here i've got these little uh drawers that have a bunch of things like patterns and stuff in them i've got you know works in progress sitting all over my desk here uh, i've got beads that i want to use to again make some more earrings oh and check out the sticker i got this from razzmatazz isn't it awesome so cute and then over here on my shelf, I've got my embroidery hoops, my craft mesh and tool. I've got down here my rabbit fur, as well as a bunch of felt in different colors. In this next box, I've got a bunch of clay stuff and like acrylic paint, stuff like that. Kind of a little bit messy. Here is all my clay scraps that I have left over. And then my cutters and stuff are down below as well. And then in here, I've got some shipping supplies, you know, boxes, tissue, and then this is how I store my backing material. I saw someone on TikTok do this, but you basically take like a little file folder and then you can separate them all by color or you could do like glitter versus leather, all that stuff. And then you just close it up and everything stays perfect. Then I've got a bunch of little organizers from the dollar store here that are just filled with my findings, uh, a bunch of different ones here. I've also got centers, beads, and sequins here a bunch a bunch of beads and yeah i have a ton of these that i love to use for uh, storing them i store my seed beads in these modular tubes right here that come in different sizes i love these for travel and also i just work right out of them i use this bracelet holder to put my uh, spools of rhinestone banding and stuff up here and then my shorter cuts i have just in another small organizer and then these ones with my clay centers, I'll show you, they're also modular, so you can stick them together, which is great when I break them to markets. But you can see I've got them all separated by color and style. And yeah, this is my bead room. And I hope you guys like this little tour and explanation of my storage and all that. Let me know if you want to know more about my beading, my setup, all that. And uh, yeah, as always, have a beautiful day.